This is the real reason why Jane Daniels went number two overall to the Washington Command. He's got 20 or more. 20 or some more yards. The reason why he went number two overall to Washington Commanders, he is damn near perfect on empty formations. When they run an empty formation, it's always a positive, bro. They're either getting a first down, they're either getting a touchdown, bro. That's the, that's the only two options when it's an empty formation. That's the first one he ran during this first half of the Alabama game. This is the second one time he ran an empty formation. Watch this one. Probably are. It's second and five. Second and five. Quick throw to the out. First down. Third time he ran this empty formation against Alabama, who has an NFL-style defense. From the nine-yard line, and it's the quarterback straight up the middle and now cutting to the Touchdown. Fourth time he runs this empty formation against Alabama. No timeout. Ooh, but this one got a little wrinkle. He's going to have the running back start in the backfield. Then he's going to motion out. Now, why is empty formation so damn effective? Well, for one, it makes you show your cards. If you got a running back in the backfield and he's running out to being empty, and someone's running with him, bro, that's a man formation. Bro. That's man defense. It's easy as fuck. Look at everyone's moving. It's man. Jaden sees that. Boom, boom, boom. Take your time. Is anyone open? No, okay. Well, it's all good. I'm going to get 28 on this one. Boom. He's feeling gone, bro. Ugh. That's one. Ugh. Empty formation is like, I didn't realize how effective it was for young quarterbacks. All right. Nick Saban's defense is known for like creating disguise and, and all this confusion for quarterbacks. But you run an empty formation, you have to show your cards, bro. He is so effective at this. Bruh, Cliff Kingsbury is going to... Watch how much the Washington Commanders come out of empty formation. Every time you're going to see an empty formation next year, you don't think about your big dog Ralph, bruh. Because I told y'all, this man right here is nasty with it. There was a bad block right there, but they were still end up scoring on this particular drive, homie. So like I said, this is why they drafted him. He's such a headache with this particular formation. Now, I'm going to add something else for y'all. This is another reason why they drafted him too, bro. Listen to this. His total EPA only trails Joe Burrow, obviously mm. the LSU connection. His rushing EPA oh. only trails Lamar Jackson, mm, Cam Newton, and then Malik uh, <laughs> Willis. Lamar Jackson, Cam Newton, Malik Willis, bro. Joe Burrow, those are the names. Now, obviously, let's let's take out Malik, bro, because Malik, he 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 a he work in progress still, all right? But just so y'all know, EPA, bro, is basically a measuring tool to compare certain quarterbacks in certain situations, okay? It's your expected points added, all right? So if you're basic, basically it's this, bro. Two yards gain is not always the same, homie, all right? If you get a two-yard gain on fourth and ten, that is a turnover on downs. If you get a two-yard gain on fourth and one, that's a first down. So EPA adds values to those two different yards. Or this, yeah, those two different yards. Bro, he has, he's behind Joe Burrow and the total EPA. And then when it comes to his rushing EPA, it's behind Lamar Jackson. <laughs> Camden, y'all heard the rest of the names of it, bro. Like, this guy is some. When I really broke down like the tape and wrote things down and saw this, he. I see why they got him. I think they actually wanted him over Caleb Williams. I ain't gonna lie to you. And I can see Cliff, if he's smart, really coming out and really utilizing this empty formation. Because when it's an empty, I guarantee you that's why his EPA was so high. That one drive. That was one drive I showed y'all with four different empty formations. They ran six on that play. One of them had a holding call, so I didn't show that one. And the other one was a unique look out of it, which was a jet sweep for the running back. So he wasn't really involved in that. He just basically handed it off. And that's the whole thing about EPA. You know, is it just a regular two-yard handoff? Or was it, you know, the, the, the jet sweep is like a pass. It's like a toss pass from the quarterback. But he could take that to the house. That's six, right? But that six right there isn't the same if it's like, you know, you, you know what I'm saying. Bro. I'm, try, I'm trying to break it down for y'all, but I'm already getting too damn excited. Long story short, this, this, this motherfucker's good, bro. <laughs> he real good.
And I can't wait to watch some games next year from the Washington Commanders. Let me know y'all thoughts in the comment section below about your boy Jane Daniels. And I'll see you in my next video. I'm out. Deuces.